AI game creation. It started with ChatGPT being able to code games. Now, there are AI tools that literally just make games for you. So in this video, I wanted to look at how AI makes a game in one day, 10 hours, one hour, and 10 minutes. When I originally used ChatGPT for game development, I created Minecraft with ChatGPT. I originally asked ChatGPT for a step-by-step -step guide on how to remake Minecraft in Unity, and then asked ChatGPT to code each individual feature. After quite a lot of code and quite a lot of integrating that code into Unity, after about one day of development, AI was able to create Minecraft. This version of Minecraft had a 3D random terrain generation system, a player movement system, and a block placing and breaking system. The next time I tried using ChatGPT to create a game, I tried to make a horror game. This horror game took about 10 hours to create and was created by adding different assets to Unity and getting ChatGPT to code all the features of the game. The main features of the game were the player movement system, the enemy AI, and the jump scare. Now, I wanted to try use AI to create a game in one hour and to create a game in 10 minutes, but I wasn't going to use ChatGPT. I wanted to use an AI game development tool that created the game for you. And that's where our sponsor of this video comes in, Uppit. Uppit is a revolutionary tool that allows you to build and share games in minutes. You can create games effortlessly by just typing what you want to build, and from there, you can start customizing immediately. Uppit provides you with real-time previews and instant feedback. Uppit has a visual editor, built-in asset libraries, sound and animation tools, and one-click testing and publishing. So everything you need to create a game is right here with Uppit. Uppit can turn your ideas into playable experiences. All you have to do is describe your game idea, add visuals and sounds, test and tweak the gameplay, share instantly, and collect feedback to improve your game. Uppit has a great community where you can give feedback and collaborate with other creators. Make sure you follow me on Uppit over at Bad Game Dev. You can browse and remix trending games. What I'll also mention is Uppit hosts a lot of different competitions that you can enter with your own games. So there's heaps of different prizes you can win. Sign up with the link in my description or scan the QR code to get instant creator approval and start making games the new way. Anyway, I'm going to use Uppit to try make a game in one hour, then try to use Uppit to make the same game in 10 minutes. Let's see how we go. All right, so here we are in the Uppit game creator and I'm gonna try and make an AI game in one hour. So as you can see, the first thing that you have when you start a new game project is a little bit of a chat. So this is where you can basically start your game development. You describe your idea and Uppit generates the idea. So as you can see here, to kick things off, could you tell me a bit about the game we're making? So the game we're gonna be making is a top-down survival shooter game. I'm quite familiar with making games like this, so I just figured I'd try to do that in one hour because it'd probably be pretty straightforward. So let's just describe our game idea and see what happens. Now, obviously, with these type of games, the more detail you provide, the better the AI is going to make something. Uh, if I just say I want to make a top-down survival shooter, I don't even know what I'd get, but uh, I want to give as much detail as possible to get my game idea correct. So all I'm going to put in is I want to make a top-down survival shooter, have it so there's a wave system, and zombies spawn during the wave. Now, obviously, I could go into much more detail um, but I just want to see what happens if I do this. So let's uh, see what happens. So this is one thing I really like about Uppit is it fully goes into detail uh, and just generates so much for you. So let's have a look. The title of the game is Zombie Wave Survival. The long description is a top-down survival shooter where players must defend themselves against endless waves of zombies. They've just filled up the game with so many ideas. I like that. Then we've got a game flow as well. So player can control a character that can move in all directions. Zombies spawn at the edges of the screen and move towards the player. Let's just create a game and see what happens. And as you can see, we get to see the game coded. Now, this is one of the really cool things with Uppit is we can then go through after and change all this code as we want. And here we go. We have our game. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a player here um, and I can click and drag the player and it seems like the player is automatically shooting these zombies that are trying to attack the player uh, so that's cool all right we're up to the next wave so I can click and move the uh, quick and move the player closer to the zombies there we go seems like the player is just gonna shoot the nearest zombie so if I sort of just put the player here and I just leave the zombies to come try attack the player Player's just gonna automatically shoot them um, so that's cool. Essentially, it is a game that I asked for. It's a top-down survival shooter game with a wave system. So now that we have our initial prototype of the game, I can go into the chat here and I can implement features 
and what will happen is whenever I type a feature in, the AI will go through this code, add the feature into the game, and uh, we'll have the feature. So let's say, um, can you make the game more difficult? Okay, so I'm not actually asking for a specific feature. I'm just gonna say, can you make the game more difficult? So it's moved over to the chat here and uh, it's given me a bunch of different suggestions that I can add. So we have zombie mechanics and all sorts of different zombie mechanic feature suggestions, play limitations, environmental challenges, resource management, score-based scaling, there's a lot. Can you add all these features? Now this might take a while, but uh, we're trying to make an AI game in one hour, so let's see what happens. All right, we've got a bunch of new features added. We've basically got a bunch of features added that's gonna make the game a little bit more difficult. So let's go ahead and test out the game. As you can see, we've got more zombies here. We can move around and uh, my player's not shooting, okay. All right, so let's try our game again now. We've got our shoot button. Shoot button works, it'll shoot the nearest enemy, which is cool. So as you can see, we can move around our enemy, click shoot, that's awesome. Cool, I think I'm gonna ask for one more feature before I start changing any of the game assets. So let's go ahead and say, can you give me a suggestion for what to add to the game? So I'm just gonna ask AI here to give me a suggestion for what to add to the game. All right, so I've been given heaps of different suggestions. We've got our power-ups and upgrades, new enemy types, environmental elements, there's a lot. So we can say, let's start by adding power-ups and let's see what, what it does. All right, a bunch of power-ups have been added to our game. So let's see if they've actually been added to our game and let's see how they work. So I'm pretty sure they should just randomly generate. So let's just keep playing the game and see if any power-ups spawn in. All right, we've completed our wave. Uh, it looks like there's something here. This looks like a power-up. Uh, so let's collide with it and it looks like I've got a... Uh, I don't know what type of power-up that is, but I've got a power-up. All right, so we're in the Assets tab here, and I wanted to show you the Assets tab because I think this menu is another really cool feature of Up It. So what we can do is we can go ahead and click on an asset here, um, or we can generate a new one, but we'll start by clicking on one. So we'll go with the player, and as you can see, we can add custom images in. So if we have an asset that we want to use, we can bring it into Up It. But you can also use a prompt to generate an asset. We can click Add Image here, and we can describe the image. So let's go ahead and describe the image and see if we can get something for our game. So we've put in here pixel art top-down survival player with a gun. We can go ahead and click Imagine, and uh, it should generate a few different variations of the asset for us, which we can then go ahead and select and it'll implement into our game. And we've got a bunch of different assets that we can use. So I can go ahead and go with this one here, um, which will then be implemented to our game, as you can see. Now, if I go ahead and play the game, as you can see, we have a new uh, player. So I can click the shoot button now and uh, I can go ahead and take out some of these uh, some of these enemies. Up it can also generate sound effects for the game and music for the game. So our game doesn't actually have any of these sounds yet. Um, they're just placeholders. So if I go ahead into the shoot sound effect and click add sound, I can say something like um, a gunshot um, and then I can click imagine and it'll actually generate that sound effect. So we've got a few variations here. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one. And as you can see, if we now go ahead and play our game, sound effect has been added. So there you go. This is basically what we can do with Up It. Uh, as you can see, we have a sort of zombie survival shooter game here that's been generated. Um, I've got a working player movement system. I can click and move the player around. I've got these enemies here which will follow the player. I've got a wave system. I've got a difficulty system added to the enemies. I've got a shooting system as well. And of course, I've got power-ups, which is awesome. So now that I've finished the game, all I'd have to do is go ahead and click publish and follow the prompts and uh, the game will be published. And that is how easy it is to make a game with Up It. All right, so now that I've created an AI game in one hour using Up It, I wanted to try create an AI game in just 10 minutes using Up It. I wanna try remake what we just created in just 10 minutes. Now that I've sort of shown you how to use Up It and what Up It can do, let's see how quickly we can do it. And that's one thing I find awesome with Up It. It's easy to quickly prototype and make games. So let's start off by basically saying the same prompt as last time, just with a little bit more detail. So here's what we've got. Can you make a zombie survival shooter game. And then I've gone ahead and just listed some of the features I want. So have it so you can click and drag the player around the map, have waves of zombies that spawn and attack the player, have a shooting system, have a scoring system, and increase the difficulty as the waves continue. So let's see what gets generated with this. And now up it's gonna write all the game code. All right, and here we go, a game has been generated. So as you can see, it looks like there's zombies going to try attack the player. It's a scoring system, wave system, and we can move the player around. Okay, it looks like we're shooting as well. So whenever we press, a bullet will appear. 
Um, but obviously there are some changes that need to be made. However, the game has kind of been created. So since I'm trying to make this quickly in 10 minutes, I'm giving as much detail in all the feature requests as I can. I'm not just saying add a shooting system. I'm giving step-by-step -step instructions on create a button on the GUI that the player can press. And when pressed, a bullet will spawn from a player and move to the nearest zombie. All right, so the game is regenerated. We can move the player around. Let's click our shoot button and uh, cool. It seems to be working. There we go, should shoot towards the nearest zombie. Let's shoot a few more bullets out there and it works, cool. And then the, the bullets just stay in the game and they move towards the nearest zombie. So that, you know, I'm gonna keep that feature. I kind of like that. We've got a new wave here, so cool. I like that as well. You know, I could just spawn a whole bunch of bullets like this and uh, eventually every single zombie will get taken out. Maybe I'll remove that feature. All right, now we're gonna quickly generate some assets and actually make this game look like a polished game. Obviously, we've got a few assets here. We're gonna start with the player asset and generate a player asset. All right, let's see what type of assets are generated. All right, we've got our zombie asset as well. So if we test the game, as you can see, the assets are working, which is awesome. And so after about 10 minutes and adding a few extra changes, we kind of have a complete game. So as you can see, we've now got some zombies. We've got our player player always faces towards the nearest zombie. Uh, I've generated some bullet assets as well. So this is really what Up It can do. It's such a powerful tool, especially for game development. So for an AI created game in 10 minutes, this is awesome. And there we go. That's an AI game made in one day, 10 hours, one hour, and 10 minutes. Thanks to Up It for sponsoring this video. Once again, you can use my link in the description to get instant approval for Up It. If you want to check out more of my content, you can visit my website over at badgamedev.fun. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and you can also subscribe to the channel.